Not too long ago, I partnered up with the Nerdist to create this super cool video about the theoretical matchup between Robocop and the Terminator from Dark Fate, the T-800. We chose these characters specifically because they're two of the newest characters in Mortal Kombat 11. The video we made is awesome, and we came up with these really cool science experiments to test the attack abilities of each character. And one of the pieces of equipment we used is this thing called the punching machine. We use this to test hypothetical scenarios where Robocop will be punching the Terminator. The punching machine itself is super interesting. It's essentially a pneumatic air cannon with a metal piston instead of an open barrel. What this does is allows the punch to deliver a constant force as opposed to shooting a projectile like our PVC Nerf dart that we shoot out of our PVC air cannon. Also, because the punching machine is made out of an aluminum cylinder and a steel frame, this allows us to use higher pressure than the PVC pneumatic air cannon. So before we return the punching machine to Nerdist, I wanted to test it out against a few other items to get a better understanding of how it actually performs under pressure. <laughs> okay. Also to note here, We've gone overboard to secure this table to this four by eight piece of plywood to make sure all of the energy of the punching machine piston is going into our item and not deforming the structure holding everything in place. Here's how the punching machine works. In this uh, air compressor, we get that up to about 115 PSI. We then connect that with this hose right here. And then this whole system is pressurized right up until this point. Then we have these wires that connect to this switch over here at a safe distance. We we'll hit on, that then switches this little valve right here to the on position. The pressure comes out of this hose into our pressurized cylinder, our aluminum cylinder. That then pushes the piston forward. Boom, and that is our punch. Hey. All right, so the first item that we want to test is a watermelon. We gotta make sure we keep our piston Nice and lubed up. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was vicious. Wow, that was really brutal and very vicious. Wow. Okay. Well, that was really, really <laughs> vicious. Went through like butter. It punched through the watermelon, no problem at all whatsoever. There's watermelon guts all over the place. Um, we were looking at the slow-mo and it looked like the piston struggled a bit once it hit the watermelon and then pushed through it and watermelon juice sprayed everywhere. This really got me thinking about like the momentum of the piston. And so I'm curious if it has enough momentum to actually punch through something tougher than the watermelon. So for our next test, we're gonna use a plastic water bottle. Gotta load up our system. Water bottle in three, two, one, water bottle. <laughs> um not really what I was going for. Water jug one, punching machine zero. Um, and now it's leaking water. <laughs> The water bottle actually got jammed through this little tiny space. Was not predicting that at all. Um, what this confirms is that the punching machine is very forceful. Man, that's really stuck. Oh no, oh, it's bleeding, it's, oh no. <laughs> that happened. I think if we engineer this right, it could punch right through this. So. We're gonna adjust this a bit so that it can't squeeze through that gap. And we're gonna try this again. All right, so these are actually my weights during lockdown. We're also gonna fill the water up so that it's really taunt. This is just tap water in here. We're gonna fill that up so it's really tight. We uh, really thin the gap. It's very much, it's very Death Star-like. Not a lot of room to miss. It's like shooting a womp rat back on somewhere. Star Wars reference. All right, let's do it again. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, that was really intense, man. And now I'm British all, all of a sudden. I'm in shock, that was insane. It just 
I mean, it's soaked my poor camera. That's that's not good. Uh, the punching machine is like legit. It's that's a that's a scary piece of equipment. <laughs> Holy crap! I mean, we could use that again. The honest prediction was is that it was going to squeeze the bottle so hard that it was going to push the water out through the cap. I did not think that it was gonna push it so hard that it was gonna split the bottle in half and then send its watery little guts all over our little science stage here. Um, so we've done mostly things with water. Up next, we're gonna do a cinder block. Cinder block in three, two, one, cinder block. Oh my. I think we broke the machine. Oh no! <laughs> I have concerns. Highly unstable. Uh, let's get the pressure out of there. <laughs> so I didn't expect that outcome. Um, we still have our brick in place here. I don't really... Um... Okay, so... Uh, we learned that the punching machine has no problem going through a cinder block, which is pretty crazy. I thought perhaps maybe it would kind of give it a good fight, but it really just kind of like broke it right in half. Um, we actually like bent the punching machine. If we look down here, so we actually bent the, the, the bracket holding it in place. Probably isn't awesome. All right, so the last center block broke no problem, although it hit it kind of like right at the T, and so the bottom half survived. But I'm pretty sure that the punching machine could handle more center blocks. So for our final test, we're gonna do two center blocks versus punching machine. Let's see what happens. Three, two, center block. Ooh. Ooh. Oh dear. That one cinder block is all she can handle. Yep, that's about <laughs> it. Ooh. Oh yeah. It broke one half. It got through at least one cinder block each time. So, not something to mess around with. Okay, there we go. The punching machine is crazy. Up against the watermelon, slice it in half, no problem. Water bottle, again, blasted it. Water went everywhere. With one cinder block, it got it. It got through at least half of it. Then with two cinder blocks, we got the same result. It busted through at least one cinder block. Let me know in the comment section below what other items would you put up against the punching machine. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you really soon.